We are less than four weeks away from Election Day, and while social media can bring us closer together, especially during the coronavirus pandemic, posts about politics are also tearing some relationships apart. In fact, that is tonight's You Say poll question. Have you ever had a relationship ruined by politics? You can vote now on newsforjax.com slash you say. You can also vote on the News for Jax app. We also asked the question on three social media sites and got an overwhelming number of responses. News for Jax reporter Eric Gavigny has been sifting through those responses. Eric, what did you find? Well, I found out this is one of those touchy subjects that has hit close to home to a lot of people. And I say a lot of people because I actually stopped counting after the 300th response. But based on the responses that I read, it appears that relationships are being affected uh, by social media posts that either uh, attack people or have or, or, or posts that express extreme views that promote violence. Hundreds of people responded to our question asking folks if they have lost a friend over a political post. It's disappointing. Michelle Radio Sloan responded via Facebook video chat. She says political posts on social media has damaged relationships with people she personally knows. I'd have friends post things like, oh, if you supported Trump, then you're part of the problem. On Facebook, Mary writes, I have lost friendships over them. Some friends and family have gotten so belligerent on both political sides that I have lost respect for them. Shara writes, I've definitely muted several friends and family members. I can appreciate differing views, but some people are way too extreme. Cheryl said her family, and Martha said she unfollowed her nephew. On Twitter, Sarah said politics has turned into something so divisive that it's just no longer politics. And on Instagram, Johnny wrote, if I lost friends over politics, were they really friends to begin with? It's also worth pointing out that some people who responded to our question were attacked by others with opposing views. A lot of relationships are... News for Jack's political analyst Rick Mullaney was not surprised. I believe the partisan divide today is maybe the worst of my lifetime. A divide that is not only impacting friendships, but also families. I'm sure many people watching this program know of circumstances in which they've decided no longer are they going to have the political discussion at the dining room table. The question now is whether this will end once the current election cycle is over. I don't think this election period is going to end well for you know, most of the country. I think it's just going to turn into even more arguing and even more uh, dissension. Now, according to the Pew Research Center, a whopping 55% of U.S. social media users say that they are literally worn out by political posts and discussions. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.